We anxiously await the arrival of American toads each spring. This video shows toads breeding in our pond, but to avoid censorship, just enjoy watching this video of toads having fun in our pond, celebrating the beginning of spring. Wink, wink. Toads arrive from our surrounding woods and meadow to our pond on a warm rainy night, typically in mid-April, but as early as late March. The males sing to lure in the females. Their song is a long musical trill, and together they form a chorus that continues all night. Once the females arrive, the toad party continues during the day. Our small pond can have over a hundred toads at once, so there's competition between the males. The toads only come to the pond this one time a year. The rest of the year they live on land, consuming insects, slugs, and earthworms in our gardens. The toads pair off with males clasped on top. The females are larger than the males. They congregate in shallow edges on submerged vegetation with still water, where they want to lay their eggs. Other males attempt to dislodge the paired males. Paired toads can put up a good fight. They'll stay together for hours until all the legs are laid and fertilized. The females will lay thousands of eggs protected in a gelatinous string. And then overnight, the toads vanish from the pond, heading back into the woods and meadow. The eggs start to hatch in days or weeks. These baby tadpoles don't even look like a toad. At this point, there are countless numbers of these little guys in our pond. Tadpoles grow and develop in the water over a period of about two months. They start to grow legs right before they are ready to emerge. This toadlet is figuring out its legs as it's leaving the water. This one already on land still has its tail. These guys are smaller than a dime when they first touch land and disperse across our property. We're happy a few stay in our gardens all year to help manage the insect population. Leave a comment and subscribe to the Gardens for Wildlife channel. You can also visit our website and blog at www.campbelllandscape.com.